The impact of the pandemic's economic fallout has been felt across all sectors. Taxi services, of course, have taken a hard hit too. Taxis in London and buses in Hong Kong now lie in open fields collecting dust. This next report has the details. Around 150 of London's black taxis lie in fields outside the city, abandoned and collecting dust. A similar scenario can be witnessed in Hong Kong, where hundreds of buses have been off the roads for about 10 months now. COVID-19, the consequent lack of demand and battered tourism are to blame here. The tourism sector has evidently taken a hit amid the pandemic. The London black taxis, which were once a British symbol of economic activity and tourism, now have nowhere to go. And if that wasn't enough, these taxis have now become the target of thieves who remove catalytic converters and diesel particulate filters. Parts that may take some $160,000 to replace. Drivers would usually rent these black taxis, but now they are out of work. Well, what you can see here behind us is um, basically storage of, you know, the majority of our fleet of taxis, uh, unfortunately, uh, are not being rented at the moment by uh, licensed drivers because there is no work for them in London. Um, so our fleet at the moment is just uh, sitting here doing nothing uh, and drivers are sitting at home without any work um, because of the current pandemic. As per the figures from transport authorities in London, the number of licensed taxis has fallen from more than 19,000 to 15,000. I couldn't tell you if we're confident to get through this at the moment. It is a struggle um, and it's, it's day by day now not knowing what's going to happen. It's taken a massive impact on the business and yes, to be quite, to be quite frank with you, um, you know, we are hanging on a thread as many other businesses are, um, but also you have many other businesses who, who have had to totally fold, you know. Major taxi services have found themselves in dire straits and have little hope of being able to recover the losses caused by the pandemic. Elsewhere in Hong Kong, hundreds of tour buses have been left off roads as the tourism sector is still reeling from the effects of the pandemic. The situation is likely to worsen as the government plans to end a wide-ranging wage subsidy program that helped about 2 million employees in various industries. The program was introduced in June and now the Hong Kong government has ruled out an extension. Visitor arrivals in Hong Kong have been down by 96 to 99 percent. The tour guides, drivers and others employed in this sector are now struggling to make ends meet. 2020 has been a very sad year for us tour guides because after the border was closed, we had no work to do and had no income. In the old days, we have been through ups and downs, but as long as we were with our clients, we felt very happy and cheerful every day. Now suddenly, there is no work and no tourists and we're out of work. I've begun to feel disoriented and depressed. Despite efforts to boost domestic tourism, this sector continues to suffer. Dozens of travel agencies can no longer afford to pay salaries as the festive season approaches. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.